All right, Angie Marie, I hope you're watching. In fact, I hope you can hear. You're probably at the track. In fact, if you go to the track, uh, I want to come over there. I could come over there. You could do a live feed from the track. That would be good. Maybe your contract doesn't let you do that. But anyway, girl, we're back with Freaky, and he's gotten the cone. And I just I now make these titles quadruple negatives. So it's not just an electric collar. It's an electro, electronic electricity collar. So he's got the cone, which I want to try to place no value on. I gotta do a pretty good acting job. Yeah, I screwed myself by saying it. Alright, so I don't have the collar on. Uh, and I might as well just take the cone, because I did act like before. It did. So let me get the collar on. And this dog is not, you know, if you've got a dog that you've been working with for a long time, you should just be able to get a collar on it. It should not fight you. It should not fight you. You know, if, if it does, it's because you've done something wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah, this collar isn't going to fit it. It's on the last hole. And it's a weak collar, and he knows it. He knows these IQs are weak. weak. All right, let me get rid of this cone. You know, I think you want to get to the point with your retrieving that the pager is the cue for the dog to go. You know, and then if you wanted to not have the pager anymore, if you did actually want to get to that point, you just would change your timeline around. Sit. Okay, and I'm going to try to do, because, uh, I don't know if you're there, Angie Mary, but I've had to get on to him a little bit, a couple times running last week, because there's these people, they let their dog run loose. Their solution to letting it run loose is to get a glowing collar. I actually think they saw me with the glowing collars. And so uh, he now goes and tries to play with this dog. That's just wandering, just wandering the streets, in the dark, in the middle of the night, wearing this glowing green collar. So what I'm going to try to do, though, is make him go one direction or the other. And he's maybe got a little bit, uh, you know, maybe more respect for me. But I want him, when I give him that pager, I want him to really go. I want that to be the ignition. Way, and I've got to be careful. Sit. Yay. Uh, he's not going to waste time. He's going to get both of them. only one way to go. Oh. So I didn't give him any treats in between. I made him do, you know, and if you said, well, what was that? Well, I kind of made it into an exercise. You know, it would just be a drill made into an exercise. Hi, Brian. I think you should start working this with Rocco. I think Rocco could learn to pick up uh, the dumbbells real quick. So anyway, but I'm just using my IQ. I actually think this is what I trained Rocco with when he first came. He was so small. Uh, anyway, he's over there now chasing the squirrels. You're going to hear him barking. Oh, you're going to see him going by in a minute on the way to the back. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's going. All right, so I want to get him back, so I'm going to do the verbal. Fatty!
right, so the other thing I've been doing with them is the eye contact thing. And I don't want you to do too much of that, but... Uh, so that's his new release command, Angie Murray, and that fits right in with your family. That's a wrap. Because Mike has a TV show now. That's amazing. It's not racist. It's very good. All right, now we're trying to get the dumbbells. So, all right, guys, I've got to go because this girl is going to be here any second. She was in Deltona I, like an hour ago. I hope she didn't get lost. God help me. I hope she didn't get lost in Deltona. So, all right, you guys, we'll be right back with Mavis. Oh, boy, here we go. Now, look, the girl is gone. Oh, he's gone. Absolutely gone. Well, I'm going to tell you what. If he comes back with the school, oh no, he's, he's completely at the back of the property now. It, it might be more than a, it actually might be more than a squirrel. It might be, uh. Well, he's coming back. He's coming back on his own because he's going to go look in this other corner. And he's got to make sure that he's got everything, you know, that I'm still over there gabbing into the box. All right, now he's, he sees that I'm fine. He sees, he says, oh, she looks like she's staring into it. She usually stares into it for at least two or three minutes at a time. So I've got time. I look at him. You know, and this dog is very, very frenetic. If you said, if you didn't have this collar, it would be a very easy dog to control. I don't think you'd be able to control it at all. I think it would take off after squirrels. And that'd be the last you saw of it. Uh, he, uh, you know, from what I can tell, now he's over here, now he just came and stole the dumbbell. Fetty, you know, that's where I've got to maintain the balance of power. Oh, he jacking me now. So, you know, I'm saying to myself, because the dog is in heightened reality, you know, you want to be a part of that, I think. It's a wrap. You want to be a part of the heightened reality. I think that's where people go wrong. They become a bystander, and he just took all the dumbbells. Oh, okay, she's in traffic. She'll be here in 10 minutes. Hello, Ellie Mae. I want you to get the little bulldogs fetching these dumbbells. I think it seems like such a, you know, any other. I know you're saying to yourself, get your bulldog doing it, lady. I am actually going to try to do that. So just because I think it's cute uh, for photos. So are right, you guys, the lady is going to be here. So we will be back. If you guys have any requests for any episodes, but, you know, I think that's what you have to think of. And, you know, the same thing with any bulldogs, too. If the dog is in, what happens, this is what I think happens with people. They become the bystander in heightened reality. The dog is over there, it's doing that. They're, if, if any, they're any part of the heightened reality, they're the one trying to end the story. You know, their character isn't in the story. Their character is trying to put an end to the story. You know, so he does see me, you know, and I can get the best out of him when he's like this, because he's ready to do something. That's what I do. I make him look at me. And I've got the double blink of my eyes means he's going to get the tree. And if you said, where do you go from there? I've added a couple precursors. I've actually added a couple precursors to the blink. So now he can see the blink. And I think you need to do that. And it's, I think you have to be careful. You don't want to just see someone that stares at him. But if they, if they never really look in your eyes, that's not going to be, I mean, you know, if you said I have a lot of relationships with people that we never really make eye contact and we never look each other in the eye, it's like, those people aren't your friends. You know, they're not your friends. So I try to tell Crash about some of these dogs. She doesn't understand. You know, and that's something that you're not your friend. All right, you guys, I'll be right back. <laughs>